Barbara Buchner, let's talk about the role of carbon finance uh, in contemporary world. Okay, well carbon finance actually is an essential element in order to bring us towards a low carbon growth path and I think it's been one of the um, most kind of successful elements of the Copenhagen Accord last year where uh, developed countries for the first time have committed uh, themselves to finance actions in developing countries in order to adapt and mitigate uh, greenhouse gases. So I do think that uh, climate finance and carbon finance in general is an essential part in order to ensure that we can change our pathways towards a low carbon future. Do you think uh, an investment in nuclear energy, above all here in Italy, could affect positively the economy, uh, also the economy here, and the, the, the climate? Uh well, um, I have to say I have not made any study of, of that specific case here, here in Italy. What I know, and still, uh, when I was still working at the International Energy Agency till, till last year, uh, what we always said and what we see also now is that in order to get us really on towards a low carbon growth path, which means to reduce uh, energy related uh, carbon uh, dioxide emissions significantly, you do need a broad portfolio of different solutions and nuclear energy is part of this over a solution because it is a, a low carbon or zero carbon uh, technique. So it's not certainly not the only solution to go to it. It's certainly not where, you know, kind of people are having preferences to go to. But if you think about the overall uh, challenge that the whole world faces, given the increase uh, in population, given the increase and the need for development in developing countries, we do need to think about careful solutions that may also comprise nuclear energy. And what about the, the other alternative uh, energy? Absolutely. I, I, I would focus above all, obviously, on the other uh, energies because I do think that we already have a large uh, portfolio of low carbon technologies ranging from technologies related to energy efficiency. So energy efficiency uh, is one, one of the largest mitigation potentials of, uh, that exists around the world. We have about one third of the potential uh, in order to get us towards low carbon growth is actually in energy efficiency, which is, for example, uh, lighting technologies, which is like appliances, which is like efficiency improvements in the industries. And this is a very important part. In addition to that, renewable technologies certainly plays a key factor. And again, there is lots of existing technologies already in solar and wind and other areas that can help us get towards a low carbon growth path, which I think are very important. Apart from that, what we also need is more research into technologies that are not yet really existing. For example, carbon capture and storage, which is something in order to, to just ensure that the, the power plants that we have currently, which are still running with coal, in the longer run at least have a solution to get rid of the uh, carbon dioxide emissions that are produced by coal.